Hello, this video was prepared following one of our subscribers request and uh, here we are going to talk about saving a value to uh, EEPROM to a flash uh, memory inside ESP32 of course in the ESP IDF environment and uh, for saving a uh, value permanently here we will be using NVS uh, library uh, first uh, let's go to the ESP documentation and we are following a non-violent storage uh, NVS uh, library instructions uh, here you can read about uh, uh, the relevant uh, uh, procedures but uh, I advise you to go straight to the example here in applications and example inside main we have the um, the example what I basically did I copied this example here and uh, to, to our project and as always simplified as much as I could of course this is not a commercial or production code which you can use because for example here uh, you have an error check you have a procedure which check whether the uh, command was completed but in order to understand the basic commands this code is uh, very good uh, here we have a basic uh, free artos uh, includes um, and also in two nvs libraries uh, basically this is the main uh, in our first stage we, we initialize the memory partition inside the flash of ESP32 the very important thing uh, without uh, making some procedures to of waiting till, till it's initialized we just wait for one second uh, for the sake of uh, simplicity we define the handle because in every task that we do in every uh, thing we, that we do handle is very important uh, uh, for different uh, uh, processes inside ESP so we define the relevant handle of the NVS handle and then we all open inside NVS partition inside the, me the flash memory we uh, open a so-called namespace and we call it storage this is our part inside uh, the uh, memory we allow it to be re to, to read and to write to this per to this uh, namespace, and we are using a, a handle. After this, we will uh, show how to uh, read and write data, and uh, in the final, we will perform commit and this commit, which will actually perform our definition, our changes inside the memory and close and clear the memory by NV NVS close uh, okay so as always you can find uh, uh, the code inside uh, github uh, uh, ESP NVS uh, partition inside Sims IoT devices uh, ESP NVS partition so now let's run the program and what we'll expect it to do we first will print out uh, the read data from the memory and then we will write uh, 111 uh, we have 111 previously in this uh, uh, part of the memory and after it we write again 111 okay 
let's kill it now we will change the code and for example write the following uh, uh, 222 so after we will you see we will try to monitor uh, okay now we have to compile and uh, we'll run it again and remember it was 111 that we read and we also write 111 so nothing uh, was really changed now we are supposed to read the previous value and the write the new value okay let's see okay we, we read the old one and have written the new value okay let's kill it and just uh, to make sure let's write another value and let's compile it for the third time and uh, remember here we wrote two 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 instead one 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 here so let's see after we uh, reset the processor and wipe up his memory we see okay so we have two 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 inside the register so it was saved for the permanent memory and here the new memory we write it 333 so in this video the procedure to write to the permanent memory to the flash to memory of ESP32 inside ESP IDF was uh, shown thank you